Hey folks, Colin here from Something's Recording, and today I'm going to show you how to make your production stand out and grab your listeners' attention with something I call the second verse trick. So an important part of production is making your song grow and change as it goes along. You want to take your listener on a journey from start to finish. If it's the same all the way through, if it's the same instruments all the way through the song, it can very easily get boring and your listener can skip to the next song. So if you add different instruments in as your song goes along and you build your production, you will keep your listener interested as the song progresses. So today we are going to focus on making the second verse different from the first verse. So it's not the same thing coming out of the first chorus, okay? So first I'm going to play you our first verse in this song, and then I will play you the second verse, and you can hear the difference and hear how the different instruments add interest and keep the listeners focused, okay? So here is the first verse. Well, actually this is the second verse in this song, but the first verse is a down verse, and we'll talk about that in a second, okay? So here is our first verse. So that takes us into the first chorus there. Now let's talk about this very quickly. So the main focus in this verse here is the vocal. You're focusing on the lyrics. But there are gaps between the vocal. Take a listen. There's a little gap there where you just hear the music behind it. So in the second verse, we're going to fill those gaps with another instrument that will hold the listener's focus. Okay? So let's move to the second verse. So here is our second verse, and I'll play this for you, and you can hear the additional instruments that fill the gaps between the vocals to hold the listener's focus. Okay, here we go. He's the one who make me live for more than today. She'll make me thank God for every single mistake. Cause every wrong turn, every bump in the road will bring me right to her, and that's the heart of... Okay, so you hear what we added? We added a piano to fill the gaps between those vocals. Take a listen if I mute the piano. Those gaps become much more evident now that you've heard it. He's the one who make me live for more than today. she make me thank God for every single mistake. Cause every wrong turn, every bump in the road. So it feels like the same thing, right? You've already heard this. You can just skip to the end of the song or skip to a different song, right? You've already heard this. But with that piano, it becomes much more interesting and it gives your ear something to grab onto in between the vocal and differentiate it from another part of the song. He's the one who make me live for more than today. She'll make me thank God for every single mistake. Cause every wrong turn, every bump in the road will bring me right to her and that's the heart I go. Okay, now we're gonna talk about something right here quickly. So there's a big gap between the third verse here and the fourth verse here. Now without the piano, without that instrument that's filling in those gaps, take a listen to that. It's just empty space, right? It's the same thing you've heard in the first verse, in the second verse. There's nothing there, there's nothing to grab your attention, there's nothing to keep it interesting. But, let's add that piano back in, okay? It's something to fill those gaps. It keeps it interesting and it moves you along. It takes you into the fourth verse. Now, as we wrap up this quick tip here today, let me break this down even further for you. Let me solo just the acoustic guitar, the vocal, and the piano, okay? So I'll play it first without the piano and you can hear this verse at its basic elements, just the acoustic guitar and the vocal, and then we'll add that piano and you can hear how it changes this verse, okay? So here's without. He's the one who make me live for more than today. She'll make me thank God for every single mistake. Cause every wrong turn, every bump in the road will bring me right to her and that's the heart I call home. I wanna go.
So your main focus is on the vocal there, but when it drops out, there's nothing for you to focus on, okay? So let's add that piano and let's fill those gaps. Here we go. He's the one who'll make me live for more than today. She'll make me think out for every single mistake. Cause every wrong turn, every bump in the road will bring me right to her and that's the heart I call. So even if you're not a piano player, this isn't that advanced of a part. It's just simple notes to fill in those gaps. So it's something you could program. You could even just do individual notes there. So we're using dyads here, and you can see we're hitting notes in between. But those two hits there, you don't even need. Realistically, you don't hear them in the song. Take a listen. All you need is single notes, little tidbits to fill those gaps and hold your listener's interest so they don't get bored following your choruses, okay? That's it for this one, just a quick one today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you are looking for production on your next song, feel free to click the link in the description and request a quote for your next project. I'll see you guys soon.